The movie starts with a character named Tree, a girl in the lead role, who wakes up in the room of an unknown boy in the boys' hostel. Then the ringtone of her phone rings, which tells us that it was Tree's birthday today. Her dad was constantly calling Tree, but she didn't even answer his call. This room was actually of a boy named Carter, whom Tree didn't even know. She gets up, asks Carter for a headache pill. She felt that maybe when she was very drunk at night, Carter must have taken the wrong advantage of her. Anyway, she came out of Carter's room. When she comes out, as soon as she comes out, a boy was flirting with Tree. He teases her. Then Tree meets a boy in front of her, who liked her. But Tree didn't have any interest in him. Then Tree came back to her girl's hostel. As soon as she comes, Tree's group leader asks her, where were you last night? But Tree doesn't tell her anything. Then her roommate, whose name was Lori, made a cupcake for Tree's birthday. But Tree puts the cupcake in the trash without eating it. Tree was not a good girl. She doesn't care about other people's feelings. After this, they all go to college, where their meeting was going on. When a girl comes to him with a chocolate shake, her group leader scolded her because in her eyes, this food was not good for her health. When the girl was leaving this table, she bumps into Carter on the way. Carter was also a student of her college. She came to return Tree's bracelet, which was left in his room last night. But Tree tells Carter to go away from there, so that no one knows about last night that she stayed in Carter's room. Then she goes to her college's hospital campus, where she had to meet her professor doctor, with whom Tree's affair was going on. Then the doctor's wife also comes there, in front of whom they pretend to be normal. Tree left from there. At the same time, Tree's roommate Lori is also there. She says, look, don't get trapped in such a doctor's affair. But Tree didn't care about these things. When she goes back to her hostel, the group leader of Tree tells her that we have to go to the party this evening. Tree gets ready and was going to the party on the way to the hostel. Then we see that her dad's call also keeps coming to her, which she does not pick up. A little ahead, she finds a toy lying on the road, in which birthday music was playing. When she goes to see him, Tree finds a man standing, who was wearing a baby mask, and was staring at Tree for a long time. When Tree threatens him with the police, he leaves from there. But suddenly he came from behind and attacked Tree. He stabs Tree in the stomach, which caused Tree's death there. And then Tree's sleep suddenly opens in the boys' hostel, where we had seen Tree before. This room was of Carter. When Tree saw this, her dad's call was also coming. Tree was now confused. She was feeling like she might have had a bad dream. But this time she knew about Carter and where she had kept the headache pill. When Tree comes out, like before, a boy was flirting with her, and then that boy meets Tree. Everything was going exactly the way he liked, as it had happened with Tree before. But she didn't remember anything. When she goes to her hostel, like before, Lori brings a cupcake for her, which Tree left for college without eating this time. Where she sees a baby mask lying next to her, which she had seen on the face of the Ender last night. She doesn't understand anything that what was going on with her. Carter also comes to return her bracelet. She goes to her hostel to tell her about her condition, but the doctor doesn't pay attention to anything. In the evening, when Tree leaves for the party again, she sees a toy lying on the road in which the music of Happy Birthday was playing. This time she didn't go to that toy and change her way, after which she reached the place where the party was going on. As soon as she opens the door, she sees a table in which the baby was wearing a mask. Tree punches him in the face but the lights were on. Actually, Tree's friends had arranged a surprise birthday party for him. Then he comes to meet Tree who was wearing a mask. He was taking a little more interest in Tree, but that boy started liking Tree's group leader. Tree also likes that boy a little. She goes to that boy's room and he comes in front of her. Then he plays loud music and starts dancing strangely. Then the real ender goes there. He first ends that boy and then he attacked Tree. He takes a piece of glass and ends Tree, after which she wakes up again in Carter's room. Now she was very upset. Today was her birthday. Here we find out that actually Tree was trapped in a time loop. The time loop will be reset again. That's why all this was happening to him again and again. It was his happy birthday, happy death day. When Tree comes out, the same thing happens to him that happened to him before. She quickly reaches her hostel and tells her roommate, Lori. But she didn't believe these things. Now to make her believe all this, after listening to all this, it seemed that Tree was sick. She tells Tree to stay at home and rest tonight. Tree also does the same. She had closed all the windows and doors and when she was about to eat the cupcake made by Lori, then she feels a little uneasy when she takes the weapon and walks towards the door. But this time the Ender attacked her from behind and stabs her. Tree was also in a lot of pain. She comes out and starts looking at everyone here and there, because of which she was dizzy. Sometimes Carter comes to her with her stuff. She hugged Carter and started crying and asked him for help. She tells him everything. After hearing everything, 
Carter says, you are stuck in a time loop and you will not come out until you catch your real ender. He starts making a list of who wants to end you. Carter also tells Tree that when you came to my room in a state of intoxication, I went to my friend's room and slept. I didn't do anything wrong with you. Here Tree finds out that Carter is a good boy. But Carter tells Tree that there are countless opportunities in your life to catch your ender. You have got unlimited life with the help of time loop. She makes a list of people who could have ended him. First of all, she gives the name of the boy to Carter, who was ended by the ender in the party. Then she keeps an eye on the boy who liked Tree. But she sees that the boy himself is with an officer. Then the ender comes from behind and ends Tree again. In this way, time is reset again. The second time, Tree now keeps an eye on the doctor's wife and Tree keeps an eye on her group leader. She thinks that this is the ender. That's why she falls on the road fighting him. And suddenly a truck came and crushed them both. And in this way, Tree had found out about all the people one by one. But she had not found the ender yet. The next morning when Tree comes out of her hostel alive again, this time she was not wearing clothes which everyone was surprised to see. Here Tree knew that she would die in the evening and everyone would forget everything. Then in the evening, the ender ends Tree again. And then when the time is reset again, she wakes up in Carter's room. Now Tree was very weak. She can't even walk. Carter takes her to the hospital where the doctor tells Tree in the x-ray that you have so many wounds in your body, you should have died by now. Tree understands here that time is undoubtedly reset, but the more she dies, maybe one day she will die because of this. Tree was now suspicious of the doctor that the ender is not a doctor, so she runs away from the hospital. But then the ender came there and ended the doctor right in front of her eyes. And then he runs after Tree. Tree came to the parking area and ran away with a car. She was very happy here that she gave the death a glimpse. Then a policeman stops her car. Tree thinks that she has no safe place from the jail. So she tells the policeman that I have been very intoxicated. Arrest me. When the policeman was sitting her in his car, a car comes and crushes the policeman who was the ender. Now the ender drops the burning candle on the road because the petrol of the car had fallen there which causes fire there and there was a blast and the car time was reset again. Her eyes open again in Carter's room. This time she didn't care. She tells Carter to make sure that the couple will be wet and then he will be unconscious. After which they both go to a cafe where Tree tells Carter that my and my mom's birthday comes on the same day, but three years ago my mom died and that's why I don't like this day at all. Meanwhile, Tree's dad was also getting a call. A serial ender sees the news of the ender who had ended a lot of innocent people. His treatment was going on in their hospital campus. Tree thinks that he is the ender. She goes to the hospital behind him where he was missing from the room. He had also ended the security guard. Then he comes from behind and attacks Tree. But Tree ran away from the bullets of his gun. This time the Ender also took off his mask. Tree had found out who the Ender was. When Carter comes to save him, the Ender broke Carter's neck and ended him too. Tree runs away and gets locked in a room and comes from behind and attacks the Ender. But Tree thinks here that if she doesn't die today, time won't reset and she will lose Carter forever. That's why she go down from a tower and meet her demise there, after which time starts again. She wakes up in Carter's room where she was very happy to see Carter alive. This time there was no place for her happiness. She now goes to the hostel and apologizes to Lori because she didn't treat him well. She also ended her affair with the doctor. After that, she eats with her dad and apologizes to him that she had been ignoring him for a long time. In the evening, she was ready to fight her ender. She goes to the hospital where she was telling him to go with a gun on security so that he can call the police at the right time. She was about to shoot him directly but the safety of the gun was on due to which the bullet does not shoot. Then that man ender catches Tree and beats him a lot. The lights were also off. Now, Tree approaches from behind, and shoots the ender from whom he died there. In the night, she and Carter celebrate his birthday. She slept after eating the cupcake made by Lori. But what was this? If she had found the real ender, she should have come out of the time loop. But she was still stuck in the time loop. This meant that she had not found the real ender yet. So she quickly goes to her hostel and starts packing her clothes. She tells Lori that I am leaving this city. Lori brings a cupcake for her which she sees and says, No, I am not eating. I ate it last night. Then Tree understands that yesterday she died in her sleep. And the real ender is no one else but the girl who lives with her, Lori. She thinks that the rest of the day when Lori brought a cupcake for her when the time was reset, then she did not eat that cake because of which Lori tried to end her wearing a mask. And she was the nurse of that man whom Tree ended as his ender. That's why she put on her mask and clothes so that Tree felt that the ender is the same man and was always with her. Anyway, Tree tells Lori to eat her cupcake but she doesn't do that. Lori was surprised that how Tree came to know about it. When Tree was about to leave, Lori grabs Tree from behind with her hair. Here her real face came in front of Tree. She wanted to end Tree because she liked the same doctor who was behind Tree. 
This was the reason she wanted to end Tree. After a long fight, Tree puts the cupcake made by Lori in her mouth and proceeds to push her out of the window. Finally, she ended the real ender. Finally, we see Tree and Carter where Carter was telling her to stay with him. The next day had begun. Tree finally came out of her death loop. She looked very happy with Carter. This film also ends here. Thanks for your time.